So, North Korea has fired yet more missiles into the East Sea, did so on Tuesday morning local time. Two missiles were fired around four hours ago now, so roughly 6 a.m. local time. It's the second launch in four days and fourth, as I just said, in less than a fortnight. Our Kim Jeon is at Seoul's Defence Ministry uh, with the details about these launches and uh, some more details are just starting to filter in now. Yes, Mark. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff says North Korea launched the two short-range missiles in the early hours of Tuesday towards the East Sea at around 5.24 a.m. and 5.36 a.m. Korea time from its southwestern county of Quiet in Hwangit province. The missiles had an altitude of around 37 kilometers and flew some 450 kilometers, recording a maximum flight speed of Mach 6.9. That's around 8,500 kilometers an hour. The North had fired two two medium-range ballistic northern missiles from the same province in 2016. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said the missiles fired today seem to have similar characteristics to the short-range ballistic missiles fired by the North on July 25th and said it's working with the U.S. to verify further information about the missiles fired today while monitoring the situation for additional launches. Today's firing is the fourth such launch in less than two weeks. Uh, last Friday, North Korea fired two short-range projectiles into the EC. It had launched two short-range ballistic missiles just two days before that. According to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, they were all short-range and ballistics and were fired in the early hours in a northeasterly direction towards the EC, all flying at altitudes of less than 50 kilometers. The the Joint Chiefs of Staff believe the North test fired a new type of short-range ballistic missile, North Korea's version of Russia's Iskander-class missile, which is believed to be harder to intercept due to its complicated flight trajectory, although the Joint Chiefs of Staff made reassurances that they are able to neutralize the missiles by the North with the existing Patriot anti-missile system. The missiles were presumed to have been launched from the ground using a transporter erector launcher, which is used to move missiles to a desired launch location. We'll have to see if that applies to today's launch. And that means the missiles are now bound to a fixed launch site and the North's movements are therefore harder to predict. Mark? And, uh, Gion, today's launches came just 24 hours or so after South Korea and the U.S. began their uh, scaled-down combined military exercise as scheduled. Uh, North Korea already said that it wasn't happy about this fact. That's right. The crisis management staff training kicked off on Monday as a preliminary session in the run-up to their summertime command post exercise, which is expected to start this Sunday and continue for about three weeks. The drill is aimed at testing South Korea's initial operational capacity or capability for the envisioned transfer of the wartime operational control from Washington to Seoul. Issuing a statement right after the firing Tuesday, North Korea's uh, foreign ministry said it could seek a new road other than engagement, calling the joint exercise a violation of a series of joint agreements they signed with the South. Back to you.